and welcome to another video. Today I will be um, basically speculating or theorising what Pokemon would be representing the Gen 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, um, you know, let's go games. I don't know about 7 because there's not really any Pokemon in 7 that I would really say jumps out at me and it's like, this Pokemon's popular, this is going to get this could represent. I mean, Stuffle, I guess, could be one, but there's no real Pokemon in that generation, I would say, screams, let's go mascot. Um, and there are a couple of other generations I have this problem, but at least with them, I um, have a better idea because I know what Pokemon, you know, are memorable from them because they've been out for a while. And, uh, you know, everybody's like, oh, I remember this Pokemon and how cool it was. Um, but with, you know, Generation 7, you know, we don't know what Pokemon have yet to test, stand the test of time. And which ones will fall to obscurity and which one will rise to proven pro provenant, provenance, is, is that it? You know, be in the spotlight for years to come. Um, uh, and hopefully... My friend Max, I have invited him, but he's out right now and it, uh, unfortunately he can't join me. So he is just like, yeah, just go ahead and make the video yourself. I said, well, if you want, send me um, Pokemon you think would be represent each generation. So hopefully you'll get back with me, back to, back to me with that. Um, got my phone here, so I'll be able to read it out. Well, actually, my phone auto reads my messages, so you might just hear that. Anyway, um, so let's start off with Generation 2. Now this is one of the harder ones because there are quite a few Pokemon I'd say could represent Generation 2. The first ones I thought were was Magby and Electkid because they were baby Pokemon which first premiered, you know, first appeared in Generation 2 because of their whole thing with breeding. Um, and then I also thought Togepi. Togepi is already a really popular Pokemon. Um, like, it's probably in the top five most recognisable Pokemon of all time. Um, up there with like Pikachu e and Eevee themselves, so... Could be a Togepi, um, but I'm definitely... My money's on a baby Pokemon. And uh, if they do, I'm willing to bet that baby Pokemon may... And their, subsequently their evolutions will get a stat buff. Um, just like Pikachu and Eevee are getting a stat buff in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. The babies would probably get a stat buff, um, and the same goes with probably with the rest of these Pokemon um, I mentioned. And, uh, yeah. So, Generation 3. Now, this is one of the harder ones, because there's not really many Pokemon that screams Gen, Gen 3 mascots, really. Like, representatives of Gen 3. Like, when you think of Gen 3, you think of the Mudkips meme, but you can't really have a Mudkip because there's already a starter Pokemon. I guess Kecleon, maybe, maybe Kecleon because and Spinder, Kecleon and Spinder, but they're two normal types. So, um, yeah, there's, yeah, I guess there's a couple of Pokemon you can say like maybe Wh Wisma. Whisper, Whisper, you know, a little one that evolves into Loudrid and then Exploud. That could possibly be one. Um, and maybe Ninja, because of its whole, like, split evolution thing. And maybe Ralts, Ralts and Gardevoir are quite popular Pokemon, to say the least. So, uh, Ralts could be one. Yeah, well, yeah, actually, Ralts is probably one of the stronger um, Pokemon. We, more reasonable Pokemon for you, especially because like um, um, what's this base? Um, oh, the guy from the Gen Three rival. Um, he's Gen Three rival. What's it? Wally. Wally gets a waltz. Um, so maybe plus one and mine him. I don't, 50 50 chance on plus one and mine them because they are um, both electric types. So you'd probably get one where you could pick plus one and mine them, another one where you could pick like another two Pokemon or something. But I don't think they have Pokemon plus and Pokemon mine them. Let, well, let's go plus one and let's go mine them. 
I think they'd have let Pokemon, let's go, plus and minus, and then another one or something like that. Um, Generation 4. Now this has one of the easiest picks in this entire list. Ryolu. I mean, need I say more? It's Ryolu, the pre-evolution to Lucario, one of the most popular Pokemon of all time. Um, and again, I'd probably say that's in the top five most recognisable Pokemon of all time. Um, with Pikachu, Eevee, and the uh, um, Togepi. Um, and yeah, just Ryolu. But the second one now, I'm not hundred percent sure on the second one. My first thought was Gibble, because Garchomp is another one of the most recognisable Pokemon, especially if you do VGC um, and competitive you s and play online, you see Garchomp everywhere pretty much. I mean, it's not as common as Lando, like, well, if a team's not running Landorus, it's running Garchomp. That is a constant. You will see one or the other. Um, so, I was just thinking, one of the big things in Generation 4 was the fact that all the Pokemon got evolution, so I really don't think a gen, a let's go Pokemon type game would work really well with it because um, the whole thing with because you can't evolve the Pokemon you get, so it literally goes against Generation Four, where it was based on favoring evolution, where this is just like sticking with what you currently have and making that better. So I'd probably say, oh, I don't know, like, um, beyond Ryolu, there's no real Pokemon that extremely sticks out to me, I'd say, this is extremely popular, this is, this could be a let's go, you know, Pokemon. Um, Pasurisu, maybe, because Pasurisu, it has, is on the level of infamy after one of the world uh, championships where Potsurisu won worlds pretty much and I'm thinking that is probably the best bet for for one of the gen 4 let's go Pokemon because it is just so recognizable after worlds it's like that Pokemon won worlds nobody for it that's a Pokemon that could even though everybody said it couldn't, it did it anyway. Generation 5! Right. To be honest with Generation 5, I don't really like the designs. Like this, So I don't really remember many of the Pokemon from Generation 5. Uh, off the top of my head, Generation 5 Pokemon are uh, popular. Um, To be honest, I think Generation 5 would be the one they struggled the most with. Just because the designs were so lacking most of the time. Like, there are a few good uh, Pokemon, like Chandelure. One of my favourite ghost type Pokemon of all time, actually. I, for the longest time, I actually thought it was Gen 4. <laughs> yeah, that's how much I liked it. I couldn't, my brain couldn't comprehend that it was from my least favourite generation, that it just deep. I just shoved it into into my favourite generation um, just because they were right next to each other. So, mind you, on the topic of Chandelure, that is a quite popular Pokemon, especially in um, VGC, so maybe Liquid? It is kind of cute. I mean, uh, I wouldn't say Liquid and Gol... 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 Just because those, right, for some reason, Generation 5 have two of my favourite ghost type Pokemon. Like, the, the only reason why Golem, Golem and Gola can't tie on my favourite ghost type Pokemon lists is because they're pretty much useless and competitive. Oh, hey, we got Max this list here. Max Jones says Giotto, Icom and Yanma, Hone, Swablu and Ralts. Sinnoh, Unirian, Riolu, Unova, Zerua, and Ruffalit. Oh, Zerua! So, yeah. This mm -hmm. is just going off if what I think is popular. Yeah. So, Johto, if you didn't catch it, Apom and Yanma. 
Yeah, that. Um, not exactly what I was thinking, but I was thinking more baby Pokemon. But yeah, possibly. Like Yanma is one of the more popular Pokemon from Generation Two, and Apom it, it was in the anime. Um, Hoenn, Swablu, and Waltz. So we were both thinking Waltz, and there. So, but Swablu. That would actually be quite good because Swablu is one of those Pokemon when every time I replayed Auras, I was just like, I should probably use it. I never got around to using it just because it was so late in the uh, game, like I could have gotten a Trap Pinch by that point in time and then uh, got a Flygon. Um, man, I do like the pun with his name, Alteria. It's the Alteria Dragon type. <laughs> Zeno, Baneri and Rayolu. Baneri, I didn't think about Baneri. Um, yeah, Baneri is probably on the level of um, Ralts and Gardevoir with how well known they are. Um, and Rayolu, we've already mentioned Rayolu. Zora and Rufflet. Now, I don't know about Rufflet, but Zora. It's the Pokemon. Now, Generation 5 chose to debut in Generation 4. Yeah, that's a good design Pokemon. Like, it is one of my favourite Pokemon from Generation 5. Despite how mu how my intense hatred from Generation 5, for Generation 5, it does have a couple of my favourite Pokemon, but, well, not my favourite Pokemon, but some Pokemon I do actually quite like. Like, it's like they siphon off a lot of, like, um, good goodness from the designs of most of the Pokemon and just fold it into like a select one or two of their Pokemon like a Dragon no, I'm, I'm not a big fan of its ex execution I do like its execution but it, not overly you know but a Hydra based Pokemon they could have done a lot with that the, what they went with isn't bad but it is kind of cool anyway uh, I'm not here to rant about uh, Generation 5 and Kalos NK and Noibat now the only thing I could say that maybe not is Noibat because it is the regional dragon, mind you. Um, in the same cave that you could catch Noibat, you could also catch um, uh, Axew, um, you could catch, I think you could catch Gearbite, and then later after that you could get um, the fossil Pokemon, which one of them was a dragon, so you could get a bunch of dragons quite early in there. So, yeah, I'd say that's a good. Gen 6 Pokemon. Um, there, there's a good Gen 6 Pokemon there. Um, is there any other. Hone Edge might actually be another good Pokemon that could. Like, Hone Edge was one of those Pokemon when, ev when everybody saw it in the trailer, it was like, ah, that's probably going to be shit. And when they used it, it was like, oh my god, this is so awesome. And so it is one of the more popular Pokemon from Generation 6. Uh, especially if you do competitive, yeah. Um, yeah, that got banned. He just slashed it. Um, yeah. Mind you, here's something else they could probably do. Now, let's say they, they decide to not continue on the trend with unfully evolved Pokemon. Something they could do, which every generation, bar from five, has evolutions. Gen two, we had Umbreon and Espeon. Gen three, actually, no. Gen three, Gen three and five did not have evolutions, did they? No. Gen four had um, Glaceon and Leafeon. Gen five didn't have any, and Gen six had Sylveon. How about this? Only the odd numbered uh, generations that introduced a new evolution. Um, three, five, and seven. Um, not counting Generation 1, obviously. Anyway, um, but I don't I don't think they'll do that purely for the reason that 3, 5 and 7 do not have evolution, so they'd be breaking a trend to only fall back into it to every other generation, pretty much. But yeah, um, what do you think? What Pokemon do you think could be um, the mascots for each generation. Um, I definitely do think Plusle and Minum for Generation 3. I definitely... is. Well, they were in a movie, the Deoxys movie, so... 
They're definitely one of the more recognizable Pokemon, so it wouldn't surprise me if they shared one of one of the titles and then the other one went to another Pokemon or something. They, they were even in the Generation 4 Pokemon Ranger games. I think I do think it was the... Oh, probably Pokemon Ranger... It, wasn't be, it wouldn't be Shadow of Alum. Not Guardians of Science, and I don't think it was the first one. Also, I don't know, I think it might have been... Guardians? Maybe Guardians of Science? I don't know, but I know in one of them you had a, like a plus one and the other and the and the girl had a mine and like one one had one and the other one had the other that was in generation four so that's just how recognizable they are that and um, even in the next generation they were still being featured in uh, heavily in in the main role in the game so but yeah anyway uh, but if Pokemon let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee do well and let's be realistic here. They're gonna do well, like, um, I, uh, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I myself, I'm gonna get both of them, plus the Pokeball, plus, plus, like, I have literally saved up my birthday money to get these, um, and then I'm gonna get Smash Bros, oh my god, the, uh, well, I, I think, um, I think, let's go as I had a start next month, and then Smash Bros, I think, is, no, Smash Bros. is the start of next month, and then let's go e Eevee and Pikachu at the start of December. They come out, so I'm gonna have a good amount of time in between to like save up a bit of money to and get them if I you know, want to spend my um, birthday money. But yeah, um, the uh, they're gonna do well, and they're probably gonna get sequels. Like, let's be honest here. I, I think at least they're going to make it, let's go Gen 2, and maybe Gen 3, but, pff, yeah, 90, right, Generation 4 is one of the most popular generations of all time, not just for its single player, but for what it did for multiplayer and competitive in general, so, even if they don't make a Generation 3, I'd say Gen 4 is one of the most likely generations to get a Let's Go game. Um, and I think maybe they might stop at Gen 5, to be honest. Like, at Gen 5 and after, I think I don't know. Or at least for a little while, I don't think they'll make um, Let's Go games to them. Because, again, Gen 5 is a really unpopular generation. Like... It is now considered the black sheep of the franchise, um, and Gen Six that was a good generation, but I think it's just like too recent for them to already reboot it. I think, uh, I think what's going to happen is they're going to really get let's go Pikachu and Eevee, then Gen Eight, then uh, Diamond and Pearl remake, Gen Four remakes, and after the Gen Four remakes, um, let's go Gen Two. Then Gen 9, then um, Gen 5 remakes, um, and you know, you just continue on in that pattern or something, or more more or less that pattern, until, maybe until they hit Gen 5, I don't know, like here's the thing, Gen 5 is like one of the more, forgive the pun here, but, well not really pun, but reference here, grey area where maybe they will, maybe they won't, with it is being like vastly just like they'd have to ba they couldn't like they'd have to base it off black and white too if they wanted it to get any success like if they made it let's go black and white like nobody's gonna want to play that like come on like they basically had to Redcon a bunch of stuff in black and white too, just so they could sell well. And yeah, I don't, it's the only generation I could see them not doing at all, other than Generation Three, with um, or as recently coming out. Maybe I don't know. But tell me, what do you think? What what Pokemon do you think could represent each generation? Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.